What's up, everyone? What's up, friends? Axel here of AxeTruth.com with my motivational message of today. All video, sound, and music used during this broadcast falls under fair use. Fair use is allowed for the purpose of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe on copyright under 17 U.S.C. 107. What's up, everyone? Okay, today's message, this is a powerful one. Because I got this, it's so funny, I ran across this quote and then I saw, uh, when I think, when things pop up with me <laughs> and there are things about, what, things that I know I don't, I do incorporate in my life. And it's about the past, you know, and this is so, this right here, this phrase right here is so real. If you don't let the past die, it won't let you live. If you don't let the past die like it should, it's dead, it's over, it's the past. And I know people say, well, it's, it's hard. You know, we deal with a lot of things in our past and our past do, do affect us, it does. That I'm not discounting that, not at all. But we can't change what has happened to us we can change at how we go forward and what we won't allow to happen to us again. We can change and make sure what happened to us, that we don't do that to someone else. We don't repeat that behavior. We don't treat others as we, like we were treated. We will treat other people, treat everyone like we want to be treated. Don't dwell in the, don't live in the past. You let it die because you're not living. You're stagnant here. See, when you hold on to the past, when you're hooked into the past, you're hooked back there. You're hooked. You hooked on something. You're not let, letting, allowing someone, to, you're not letting people off the hook for who have hurt you who did you wrong, the only person that wins, the only person that's winning right now when that is going on and you choose to do that is the, is the devil, is Satan. Because he knows oh, you're not living. You're not, you're not enjoying life. You're too busy holding on to the past. You're, still, you're too busy holding on to past um situations and anger and, and, and you're holding um, grudges all that does is eat you up all it does is eat you up from the inside it's like rot it's like dealing with rot throw out that rot get rid of that rot that rot is not good living in the past is rot unless you know let, let the past die let it die this, I got this video today from a friend. It was so funny because I knew I was going to talk about this today. And then a friend of mine sent me this and I said, look at it. Look at God. Look how God works. When that energy is out here, the energy is out here to confirm what I'm saying right now about letting the past go. Also letting people go, letting them off the hook so you can live your life. Forgive and go on. Don't expect anything from those people. So today's scripture, it says, and my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus, which is, of course, Philippians 4, 9, uh, 419. I'm sorry. So it says, let people off the hook. God has seen everything that's happened in your life. The injustice, the bad breaks, the person who did you wrong. Those people cannot pay you back. They cannot make you whole. No matter how good a person is, they cannot give you everything that you need. Only God can meet your needs. He said he will give you beauty for ashes. He said he will pay you back double for the unfair things that have happened. Quit looking to people to make it up to you. Quit trying to get somebody to apologize to admit that they were wrong to give you what you don't have. <laughs> it says when you let people off the hook and quit trying to make them perform perfectly and keep you fixed, not only will their life be better, but your relationships will, be, will improve. Let people off the hook. I thought that was just great. Let people off the hook. Don't allow them to, don't allow people to take your joy, take, to steal your joy, the, 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 little, the joy, the little joy that you have. The little joy that you have, 
that you're trying to create, gain. You're trying to, you have to get that joy. You have to keep and hold on to that joy. Manufacture, you know, bring this joy out, the joy that you never expressed. Because you can't express it because you're angry and you're mad and you're upset and you're living in the past. You're holding on to grudges. You're mad at the way someone treated you. You had, you know, it's a lot. I mean, somebody, what is easier said than done? What did she say in there? Go to God. You have to go to God, go to a therapist, go to someone to help you create, get the tools to let go. To release people. Let them off the hook. Release your past. Release past situations. Release it. Because if you don't release it and you hold on to it, you're carrying around all this resentment, anger, frustration. It's you carrying around all this rot. That rot. And that rot is going to eat you up from the inside. That rot will destroy you. You will not be able to live. It's important that people understand that you have to, what has happened has happened. What you want to do is not let it happen again. Don't let it happen again. Don't repeat bad behaviors that was inflicted on you and do it on other people. Because that's easily to do, that's easily done too. See, God knows your heart. God knows when you God knows right and wrong. And guess what? People know right and wrong. People who have done you wrong know they're wrong. They know they're wrong. They have to live with that. They some of these people are very soulless. They don't care. They, you would think they walk around. They don't care when they do someone wrong. And they act like they don't care. You say, oh, how can these people live like that? But guess what? They gotta look, they look themselves in the mirror every day. They can act and put on a front like they don't care, but that eats them up too, because they know they're wrong. And somehow these type of people think something good is going to happen in their life. I'm just going to pretend like, you know, I, I can be bad. I can do bad things to people. I can say this. I can treat people any kind of way and go on through light, life and skate through and unblemished and be blessed. Oh, that's a trick of the devil. So a, a dumb trick. And it's the only a dummy would believe that life is going to work out for them that way, being that way. But as for you, the, the people who are hurting, the people who are depressed, down, upset, feeling alone because so many people do you wrong, you have, to, you have to evaluate what you have done and the type of people you bring into your life. You have to always you know, check yourself. Check yourself first. Check what you're doing. Don't repeat the same behaviors and allow the same type of toxic people in your life expecting a different result from them. <laughs> if they're toxic, you're going to see it. You're going to know it. Get around people who are positive, uplifting, and then you'll be positive and uplifting. Change, you have to change. You have to do something different. And, and most of all, you have to let go of the past. You really do. Let it die. It's dead. <laughs> it happened. <laughs> you can't change it. It's already happened. Now the only thing you have is today and going forward and to live your best life. Because all you have is now. What's done is done. And make it the best. Try to make your life the best it can be. And cherish today. Be blessed, everyone. Join me tonight for SNL. I'm Axel of AxelTruth.com. If you would like to support my work, support my channel, go to the links below in this video. Also, you can check, um, go to the Cash App right here. <laughs> Cash App Axe Truth if you would like to uh, donate. And until then, everyone, have a blessed day. Good night.